In this demonstration what I want to show you is how to create a select query. A select query is one of the most simplest queries to create. To create a select query I need to make sure I've, um, I've opened the database, I'm in the uh, query section and I click on the option new. I go into the design view here where I've got the uh, option come up, click OK. Now let's suppose I was wanting to be able to select uh, staff. Uh, I want to know their departments and their job titles. So I choose the tables or the relevant tables uh, from uh, this uh, dialog box. I've got the relevant tables up. I click the uh, show tables, uh, close the show tables dialog box. I maximize the screen to make it easy to be able to work with. And I can drag these uh, sections down here in the tables. You'll also notice how the tables are connected. If these tables aren't connected, uh, your queries won't uh, operate. You need to check uh, in this staff database that the employee uh, field names uh, connect to the uh, position or the employee field name in the other tables. The only example here is that uh, the, the job classification table connects to the position table via the job ID uh, field. <coughs> now I want to be able to bring down the relevant uh, field name, so I bring down first name and last name department and job title and if I was wanting to be able to choose a particular job title I can type out the job title's name. Let's suppose I was wanting to bring down the or open or find the supervisor. I type out the name supervisor, I run my query, the information comes up showing me all the people who are supervisors or who have the job title of supervisor in the um, uh, database. I go back into the design. If I was wanting to find someone else, uh, let's suppose I was wanting to be able to find the cashier, or let's suppose people whose, uh, na whose uh, job title start with the letter C, for example. If I type out C star, I'm creating what's called a wild card command. Uh, a wild card command in this context means that instead of having to type out the full name, I can abbreviate the uh, uh, the name by uh, this uh, symbol here or this structure here. The C star, or at least the star in this case, is saying anyone, uh, uh, anyone's job whose name starts with the letter C, uh, it doesn't matter what the full spelling is, just give me all the job titles starting with the letter C. When I run the query, I see all the people whose name, job titles start with the letter C, uh, cashiers in this instance, and I can go back and keep modifying my query. You'll notice when I go back in the design structure, access has changed the uh, uh, screen here. It's actually included the word like in front of uh, the uh, characters that I've typed out. End of demonstration.